Hi everyone, it's the English Summer here and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Supernatural Part 14? I think it's Part 14. And of course a robber is about to come. How dare he? Oh, it's so annoying. Can we fight him? I don't think any of our sims are brave, so probably not. We have a f burglar alarm anyway. So, what's he doing? It's not going to go off, is it? Because he's outside. Oh, shoot. Call the police, call the police, call the police. Um, smartphone. Call the police. Call the police. Don't steal our tiberium. I swear. I will kill you. Bone Hilda's freaking out that there's um a burglar here. What's she doing? Is she distracting him? <gasps> She's brave! Oh my goodness! Go Bone Hilda! Holy smokes, I was not expecting that! She like beat him up and everything! Unfortunately, it looks like the burglar was able to get away. He's right here. He's on our lot. Now he's gonna run away. Seriously, he's about to run past you. Really? Oh my goodness. I hate the police in this game. He's behind you! God, it's like a bloody pantomime. He's behind you. Right, what we want is to eat some leftover mac and cheese, I guess. Thank you, Bonehilder, for looking after us. You know, he didn't take anything, which is good. Um... But yeah, she was the only one who did. Faye was, well, the policeman was rubbish or woman or whatever the hell she was. Police fairy of some sort. Um, Victoria, you can get up soon. How's everyone else doing for sleep? The boys need a little bit longer. Tate's feeling kind of smelly. And we have a full, full moon soon, so that will be fun. We probably should have had one already, but like I said, with everything resetting and stuff like that, then it meant that we didn't have one. Um, basically, a lot of you have been saying that you want us to move out of our rubbish little home. This is where we currently live. Our little shack on the edge of town, but right by the river. And we will be moving, um, so don't worry about that. We will be moving I kind of want to wait until I have free time to build a house because I want to build our own house I kind of don't want to want to uh, have to just live in a pre-made one I kind of want to make our own why, why are you shouting at the cat seriously what is wrong with my sounds I apologize if everything's been really quiet recently for some reason I cannot get the sounds right on either this or, um, what's it called? Uh, Sims 4. Like, just haven't been able to get sounds right for some reason. Unless it's my headphones that sound weird. But I do apologise if you can't really hear this part all that well. I mean the Sims, not me. Because I'm a loud mouth and you'll be able to hear me whatever don't eat actually what am i doing have some plasma juice he's gonna go eat leftover mac and cheese and harold can you serve some pancakes please oh she's playing the laser with the cat cute that's adorable so yeah serve some pancakes for yourself literally just yourself because no Oh, yeah, prepare pancakes. What am I doing? Carry on preparing them. I didn't mean to click out of it, damn it. Continue cooking. And Faye, can you feed Wendy? Please? She's not been fed in a while, so should probably do that. Tate, you can get ready for your day once you've um, done that. Why do we have to replace this? I'm confused. He also needs to work on his handiness because he needs that for his job. So we'll definitely work on his handiness. Maybe we'll just tinker with a few things. Um, kind of don't... Maybe we'll tinker with this because I don't want to tinker with something that could electrocute him or something along those lines. So we won't do that for now. 
but you, my friend, need to practice being the most charismatic of them all. And you probably are gonna need some new friends soon because with charisma skills, you do need friends. So we're probably gonna have to work on finding her some more friends at some point. Victoria, you can watch TV. So yeah, for the new house, I'm kind of thinking like going all out supernatural, like fancy wallpaper, like paisley wallpaper, and just like using most supernatural, um, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Supernatural furniture I can, like the fancy ones. I kind of want it to be grand. Like, do you know the house out of Sabrina the Teenage Witch? I want to base it off that, so like really old school looking traditional house. I think it would look really cool and they definitely enjoy it. I kind of want to give Harry like his own mag magic lair down in the basement with like smoke machines covering the floor and stuff like that. I have some really cool ideas for what I want to do with the house so I just have to wait until I have time to do it because obviously I am in university as you guys probably have heard 10,000 times but because of uni it means that I have a lot of deadlines at the minute and I mean an awful lot of deadlines so I kind of have ooh, I just like spat on my microphone that's gross um but yeah I have like loads of essays in at the minute like around this time it always happens they're kind of like just midterm essays but they are worth quite a lot of my marks so I am trying to focus on uni a little bit more which means that my channel is kind of taken second place to that but I do obviously I still want to upload and record for you guys because I bloody love it like it's so much fun and it's definitely a way to get away from uni basically for a little while so does moonstone grow I want to know whether it does or not this attractive wo rock won't actually tell the phase the moon what does it won't actually tell the phase the moon, nor does it contain the properties of a real moon that elicits howls from werewolves. It's just a simple rock that shares the name of the big mysterious moon everyone has come to know and love. It reminds me of Bear in the Big Blue House and the moon in that. Oh, did you ruin it? Right, we're gonna repair it. Is this... Oh yeah, that's spurting out water, so we'll repair that too. If I carry on be practicing being the most charismatic, do that until, yeah, practice charisma indefinitely. That sounds like a good thing to do. <laughs> Maybe she won't need friends considering she's a fairy. I don't know how it all works. She's currently a level 6. Oh wait, yeah, she will need friends. She currently has 5 and she needs 5 to get the next one and yeah so that will go up for sure so we'll have to carry on working on that um, so we'll probably have to send her out maybe meet some new fairies because they become friends really easily when they're both fairies for some reason I don't know why um, Victoria it's time to go to work for you hopefully you'll be able to get better with your clientele because your mood's fine and your private readings are fine that outfit however is still not fine I can't believe she's still wearing that to work such an odd choice <laughs> what I think we're going to do is oh we have to pick them don't we forgot about that uh Harry why don't you Ooh. oh no I was gonna say like pick the flowers yeah there we go. I thought he could p do like the conversion spell, but apparently he can't on flowers. Maybe he'll be able to once they're in his inventory. I kind of want to cast a conversion ritual on this. See what we can make out of it. Yep, there we go. He's picked them. Indian baskets. I wear 400 smolians. I guess we'll just sell them. And we also need to... Um, What's what's wrong? Why can't you do the conversion ritual? Oh, here we go. Now he's doing it. Let's see what he makes. I definitely need to get to work on his magic. Does that not work? Harry, you're rubbish. Try it again. <laughs> we definitely need to find some insects as well because a lot of the elixirs 
use um, bugs and insects and stuff like that. He's got an unknown rare seed. We're going to do another conversion ritual because we kind of don't need the rare seed for anything really. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to work on his magic more. That's for sure. What's this? What is it? <laughs> Harry, what the hell did you just make? It looks gross. Ew. Oh, it's iron. That looks disgusting. Let's do another conversion ritual. Calm down. You'll be able to do it. Just put it down on the floor. We could have smelted it, I guess, but... I kind of like him working on his magic. Oh, he's rubbish. <laughs> we definitely need to work a lot more. Kitty loves you, or at least wants to claim ownership over you. Oh, that's so cute. He's his father. That's so adorable, my kitten. Seriously, is that just what it was anyway? Has Tate fixed this? Yes, he has. Go and take an evil shower. Faye is still working on that. Maybe we'll go and try and find some fairies. Um, but he doesn't actually have any work today or anything like that. Oh, yeah, you can mop up that puddle, actually. Don't go here. Mop up the puddle that you created. Why is Bone Hilda, like, soaking wet? I suppose... Was it raining outside? Why is she just, like, stood there? She's not moved, I swear. Is she glitched? Can we reset her? I don't think we can. Reset Sim Bone Hilda. No. I didn't think we could, but I think she's glitched. Please don't tell me we have to get rid of her and create a new one. That'll be kind of annoying. Maybe we'll, in our new house, we'll give Bone Hilda, like, her own little room. Maybe she can, like, live inside, like, a little closet type thing or something. I don't know. I haven't decided fully on what we're doing in the new house, but I definitely have some exciting plans, and I think you guys are gonna like it. For what I have planned, if I'll be able to make it happen, then it should be good. Ooh, and today is a full moon. How many... We have two in our pack. We also changed another one, didn't we? Did we change her? Bailey? I think we might have changed her, but she's not yet turned into a werewolf. I was going to change the old guy, but then I felt quite mean doing that. So maybe we'll uh, have Tate go over to the festival. See if he can find anyone. Don't listen to his insult. <laughs> Um, who lives here? Macduff and Grim. They're werewolves already, I'm fairly sure. Uh, so where should we go? Uh, we'll just go to the Eerie Park. Oh, apparently, um, the thing hasn't started yet because it's a Sunday, so it'll start tomorrow, which is kind of a little bit annoying, but... Fair enough, like the festival hasn't started, but people should still be at the park. Is hers just not going up whatsoever? Like, has she stopped gaining? I don't know, but we're gonna have her use and take a shower. I think basically what happened is that she's reached like the max she can at the minute. Uh, so, oh shoot, we forgot to do group readings. Oh, she might actually get a promotion today, which she kind of needs, because she's still only a level 4 in her career. And then Faye, I think we're going to go visit the Faye. So we're going to search for fairies. And take how Oh, there is actually someone here, apparently. But he's an old man. I kind of don't want to turn an old man. That's a little bit hard. Um... We're going to give a friendly introduction to this chick right here. See if she's a supernatural or not. Oh, look. Bailey's over here. The one we changed last time. Oh, just you wait. You're going to become a werewolf. See if we can change someone. Oh, I think she's a vampire. Looking at her eyes. Yep. 
She is a vampire. He wants to go skinning, do skinny dipping with her already. What? No, that's not happening, my friend. No, we're not skinny dipping. You have sold items worth 81 simoleons. Oh, okay, so that was from our essence of magic and selling that. That's what I forgot to do. We didn't look for any bugs. But today is going to be a full moon, so that means like the zombies are going to be coming out and stuff. Um, there's usually like insects around here. We're going to go catch these. The ochres. We can. There's like, there's so many! Faye's off on her way to search for fairies. I guess she can sleep there this time. A lot of you, as well as saying that you want a new house, a lot of you have been saying that you want Faye and Harry to have babies, and they will be having babies, um, just not at the minute, because I kind of want to wait until they have a new house, and they don't really know each other all that well yet. Like, they, um, guess their romantic interests, but that's it, really. Like, they don't have, um, oh, shoot, get inside. Just go here and you can uh, play with magic. But yeah, they um, don't really know each other well enough to to actually have a baby as of yet, I don't think. So we're going to do slow and methodical. We have not met any fairies in here since like the first be like beginning of this Let's Play. Like the first time we did it, we had beginner's luck. We're just going to play with magic quite a lot. I'll try and get Harry's magic skill up a little bit. I'm just going to do a bunch of these. And let's go over to Tate and see what he's up to. He's got feral change. Oh my goodness. The zombie fainted because he changed into a werewolf. <laughs> That's so funny. We're going to look in the pond. And... We can give a curse bite to this old man. You know what? I kind of want a curse. I kind of want an old man in our pack. You guys know by now that I love old people. I find them adorable. So we're going to do it. We're going to give him a curse bite. Don't fight us. Oh, he's going to whip out. He's going to whip out the newspaper, isn't he? Um, there is one labelled certain doom. Fairies have a weird sense of humour. This is it. Where will fate bloom go? Certain dude. Oi! Oh, why didn't he want to be a werewolf? That's sad. Is there anyone else that we can change into a werewolf? Oh, he's brave. Damn you, Chester. We're gonna give this kid a curse bite. Oh, yay! We got a promotion. Is he a teen? Or is he an adult? I can't tell. He has a weird haircut. Faye Bloom went on an adventure to find fairies and all she could find were some seeds. Damn it, Faye, go again. I want to find fairies. It's so hard to do. Search for fairies. We will find you fairies, trust me. We will. Somehow, somewhere, we're going to find you. One way or another. She wants to reach level 7 of the fortune career. Ooh, he just gave someone a werewolf curse. That means we have four people in our pack. Well, well, once they change, we will. Uh, we're going to do slow and methodical again. I think we should... Uh, I kind of want to invite like our pack over and so we can go on a hunt together. So maybe we'll invite her out to the festival and we'll no invite you out to the festival too he has work in 12 hours which is crazy uh yes we want to go there hopefully they'll come and we can hunt with them that'd be pretty good because we have not yet had a full moon where we've actually hunted as a pack because they always run away and like i always call them they are the pack of pack of wusses. They're like the most loser werewolves ever. <laughs> um, we are going to go down the ladder. Come on. 
We can do this. We can find fairies and we can go for a hunt as a pack. This will be a good full moon. He's getting chilly. <laughs> Bless him. He has stood there without a top on. Ooh, Frida Goth. Um, we're going to look inside the fairy house. There's got to be fairies in the fairy house. Why can we not hunt as a pack? I don't want to hunt solo. I want to hunt as a pack. Oh, all we found were seeds. For goodness sake. We've got so many seeds just from, like, not finding any fairies. How can they not be in the fairy house? Just doesn't make sense. Right. What we want to do is special. We want to form a pack. And he can form our pack as well. Come on, guys. Pack unite. We want to go on a pack hunt. Because that means we'll find more money, likely. Awesome. I'd love to hang out. Where do you go for fun? Right, come on. Go ask that guy. Ask to join pack. <laughs> Don't use it. Just ask him to join your pack. Come on, Tate. There we go. Please join. And then we are going to hunt with our pack. No, don't chat to him. Ask him to join your pack and then hunt with your pack. Come on, boys. Just do it. Please. I'm begging. We've not done it yet. Yes. I'm too tired. Oh, shut up. Little loser. We're gonna go hunting with our bow. With our bay. Sorry, I got hung up on something. He's such a loser. God, what is his name? Gladstone. I'm so... He was like our first, like, wolf brother. And he's just terrible. He literally does nothing with us. Whereas Haley like, lives to please Tate. And he's just rubbish. He's the worst, worst, um, werewolf ever. Victoria, why don't you head on over to sleep? Harry, bless him, still working on his magic. Why don't you magically upgrade? Oh, it's already fireproof, isn't it? That's good for me. Can we magically upgrade the fridge? I don't think we can. Um... We can magically upgrade this to self-cleaning. Because I don't want it to be unbreakable because I kind of like having Faye magically repair them. And we can do this to self-cleaning as well. We are going to be moving this out of this house soon, so there's not really much point. This group outing was fantastic. No, epic is the word. Wait. That's not the way to describe it either. Legendary is the only way to describe it. He found some good loot. He found tungsten, carbide, and quartz. So everyone's going to head on home. He does have... Why, is, why does he keep freezing? He does have work tomorrow, so I suppose he can't... Why does he constantly just walk around topless in shorts? <laughs> I don't get that boy. He's freezing, but he still walks around in shorts. She's inside her fairy house, but she's apparently coming home, which, fine by me. As long as none of them have been eaten by zombies, mm. I am fine. So, Faye, head on home real quick. Here we go, he's working on his magic. Uh, you can eat some leftover mac and cheese. Yeah, you can eat some too. Let me cancel that one out so it doesn't cancel itself out when I tell you to sleep. Um, oh, yours is the bottom bunk, isn't it? Extreme sleep. Who did we just lose friendship with? I have no idea. She probably gets to work on finding some more friends. We need to find more fairies for Faye, I feel like. And also vampires for Victoria, because she literally, like, doesn't know that many people at all. So, kind of feel bad on her. Come on, Harry. Get to work. He's almost, well, he's like halfway, I guess. So he's getting quite close to getting a new magic skill, which is kind of cool because I definitely want to see what that is like.
But I think I'm gonna end this. Oh, how creepy is she? She's like a zombie librarian. Ew. But I think I'm gonna end this part here, guys. If you liked it, please do give it a big thumbs up. Sorry if this was a little bit short for a full moon. It's just because I, um, I have a really exciting day today. So my friend's coming to visit from home. I haven't seen her in forever because obviously I've been in uni and so has she. So she's coming down to where I live and we're gonna hang out for the weekend and we're also going to a Miranda Sings concert tonight which I'm so excited about. I've been waiting to see Miranda and slash Colleen um, for ages now and so we're going to see her tonight and I'm just so excited, I can't wait. So I will be at the Miranda Sings gig tonight. I was maybe thinking of vlogging it but I don't know if I will or not. Maybe I'll just like upload it um, for you guys maybe to watch a couple of songs or something like that but it should be a lot of fun so if any of you are actually going tonight then if you see me if you know what I look like then just give me a little wave and I'll wave back because that'd be kind of cool but <laughs> obviously because like we're both on YouTube so I'm not expecting people to know me because I'm tiny in comparison to Miranda Sings but it would be kind of cool um so thank you all for watching if you like this part please do give it a big thumbs up and if you have any ideas of what you want me to include in the new house that I'm going to be building, leave them down below in the comments because I may take some into consideration when building and hopefully we can get it done fairly soon so we will have a brand new house and we can start having babies and stuff like that. But thank you all so much for watching and I will speak to you all in the next part. Bye guys!